Hey everyone, Zef here, and welcome to another Fisherman Tales overview. Well, 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 we're finally getting a sequel to this. I did play a little bit of the first game, though right now I can't really remember why I didn't continue it. Because the base concept was so cool and like unique for the whole genre. Maybe it got lost over time in the list of what I want to do. But here we are with another iteration of it and I'm glad to see that. So Another Fisherman Tales is a mind-bending story adventure game where through the unconventional gameplay centered around your body, you're embarking on a new adventure in search for the truth about Bob's past in order to find out his origins. First off with the mechanics, this is completely something brand new, like detaching yourself to another locations and using your own parts of the body to like wander around the environments. I remember the prequel or first 30 minutes of the game, you'd be like climbing the tower and it was all about playing with scale, getting smaller or bigger depending on what the puzzle needed. Here it's kind of like an open world scenario where you get to travel to various places but then get some attachments or <laughs> rather detachments to pass the puzzle so it's more like getting progressive with the actual exploration. The art style seems great, the atmosphere is pretty much resemblant and true to the whole series so I'm pretty confident it's gonna be a solid release regardless if I'll continue it or not it's just still very cool to see stuff that has never been done before let's go to the gameplay now stop me if you've heard this one before you always say that papa ha and yet you never stop me but little Nina perhaps you do not want a story tell the story Tell it, tell it! But of course! <laughs> I had set sail on my greatest adventure to discover the fabled Isle of Libertalia. You remember, I told you of Libertalia, Nina. The land of true freedom! That's right! The greatest prize for a sailor, my destiny. But this time, my plans had gone. Well, all to pieces. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a bad thing that I didn't really play the first one. I had seen a bit of the world. From legendary fisherman to heroic lighthouse keeper to now treasure hunter. So this was not the first time your papa had to pick himself up and piece himself back together. So there I was, just another jumble of jetsam, washed up on an unfamiliar shore, <coughs> completely broke. Again. Oh, okay. No doubt about it. I needed to pull myself together. <gasps> it's just from the Adams family. It's interesting. Movement with trigger. I've never experienced that. But it's very intuitive, like. But how long did you just lie there, Papa? I didn't just lie there. <laughs> I was missing two things that every sailor needs. Now, what could they... Ah, now I was beginning to pull myself together. Now I could stand on my own two feet. But still, I was rolling around like a drunken sailor. I needed to get my head on straight. Back then, I'd forget my own head if someone didn't remind me. This is so cool. There was just one thing left. You forgot your hands, Papa! I needed to grasp the situation with both hands. Ha! But of course! 
So there I was, Nina. Marooned. No ship, no prospects. The current had carried me here, and I couldn't swim against it. <laughs> we'll see with the locomotion, like... Oh my god. Wow! So you just popped your head off, Papa? Will I be able to do that when I grow up? Uh, better check with me before you try it, Nina. Now I could take a good look around. Like the whole perspective of... I guess fruit person, but I don't know like how to call it. But there's no problem with movement at all, like it's easily understandable. I'm kinda amazed. Progress! Soon I would escape, make my fortune, find Libertalia and true freedom. An appetite for adventure, little Nina. But first, food. A stealer needs a full belly to keep body and soul together. I reached for the coconut, weak with anger. Wow. <laughs> Little shipmate, what do we do with coconuts? Uh huh. Smash them! Success! My mouse watered. Oi! What's this? Who's stealing my coconuts? That was when I heard a familiar voice. There, perched on the rock, an old rival of mine, cunning and devious. These coconuts are to feed my family. You cast stuff or cast away. Unlike you, I have responsibilities. Uh, give me this. Of course, I offered him my hand, but as always, he seized the advantage. When sailors disagree, little shipmate, sooner or later, someone starts to throw hands. It was a duel for the ages. But finally, I got the upper hand. Then, treachery gave him a chance, and that crabby landlubber would take an arm and a leg. What the hell? <laughs> There's not like aiming or anything of the sort, so everything is kind of intuitive, but. It's fine. Use your head, Papa. You've got to be able to see him. <laughs> I had regained my footing, but my old rival had a nasty trick up his sleeve. Oh. You see, he tried to turn my head, make me see things his way. He had my head in his clutches. I needed to free myself. <laughs> Got him at last. Now, little shipmate. What do we say when we okay, try it? Okay, I yield. Let's make a deal. If you give me one of those handy hands of yours, I'll give you my claw. Those nimble, bendy fingers will help me smash coconuts. And I'm sure you could use a powerful pinch. Give me your hand, Bob, for all time's sake. Now, no more leaving Clo to Mouse for my family. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Crab! What happened next, Papa? Now, escape. 
There, there was signs of life. A gate that was bound shut. In terms of the art style, it's a little bit simple, but not the worst. Like, it's atmospheric, I feel like, enough. But the mechanics are so crazy. Okay, well, our first puzzle. What to do now? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Did you try opening the gate, Papa? Yeah, I guess. Snip, snip. It was high time I got off this beach. Hmm? But how? I thought I could smell the smoke. Look up, Papa. Look up. Oh, at least I knew what had happened to my boat. Ah, le temeraire. Tell me, Nina, if every part of a boat is repaired or replaced until not a plank of the original remains, is it still the same boat? What does the boat think? True wisdom, little shipmate. Now, our way for what was blocked. The bridge was broken. But I suppose I could use the washed up planks from Paul de Le Temeraire. Where's the last one? Here we go. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is so like. So cool. <laughs> oh, there's a fifth one? I only needed a few planks. Something's blinking, but. Oh. <laughs> It's exactly my type of gameplay. <laughs> Just bizarre, but so fun. I couldn't climb out with a hand and a claw. I needed something to help me climb. The solution had to be somewhere on that beach. <laughs> it seemed I wasn't the first to wash up on this particular shore. The shack was shut up tight. For anyone except old Bob, that is. Well, there's someone. <laughs> yeah! What was in the shack? What was in the shack? Yes, plenty of friends and buccaneers had passed through before me and left their mark. You see, when you find yourself on strange shores, you have to adapt if you want to change your fortune. I wonder if we'll be able to like change the hooks or whatever. Whee! When I grow up, I want to be a flying pirate too, Papa. 
I was no pirate, merely a uh, she-going scoundrel. And you, Nina, will fly higher than I ever did. Okay, but honestly, I want to save this game <laughs> for the playthrough because we sure are doing this. <laughs> Everything is great with me, the storyline, the mechanics, graphics could be a little bit better, but I think we'll just opt for the PC VR version. I just love the uniqueness and bizarreness of this whole project, but everything seems kind of familiar to me, like nothing's weird in terms of the movement or what new stuff the devs introduced here, like it seems very smooth and a pure pleasure to play, so I don't know when we'll start the playlist, but I do so sure hope so very soon. <laughs>